интересует тема раскрещивания. People seem to experience it differently, including attacks from the Christian Gregor. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about the topic of debaptism. We have been involved in the subject of exiting the Christian Gregor, a proper exit from the Christian Gregor, for the past seven years. There is a lot of information on it. In our online forum, there is a separate thread dedicated to personal experiences of people who have gone through the rite of debaptism and settling their dues with the Christian Egregor. This is some serious, tedious work, colleague, that will demand not only labor, but also tremendous reconceptualization. You shouldn't undertake it without giving it some serious thought, especially now. Christianity, just like all other egregorial formations, is turning into a simple ideology. Essentially, it is becoming a type of role play. But it is very much against being just a simple role play. It wants to remain as a full fledged ruling mechanism. But it won't be. Although it will try to remain as such in the mind of its adepts who would say that Christianity is most important, they will engage in this role play together. Just like Zuckerberg's metaverse, for example. You put on your glasses, you put on your headphones, your sensors, and there you are, almost real. The technology will keep on developing. And here we have something similar. A person will live in his own system of values, his own system of beliefs. And that is the only place where he will live. Because any other reality will simply not come in contact with it. It won't be able to. There are no common points of interest, except for other similar religious systems. And they won't be affecting the world in any way whatsoever only affecting the minds of its adepts, those who have accepted that ideology to be the most important one. You really can't call it anything else but a role play, because this ideology is affecting your life alone, it has no influence over the lives of other people. And being in that position, if you happen to try spreading this religious ideology into the realms where it doesn't exist, you put yourself at risk to be destroyed, simply annihilated, including in a physical sense. This is why any religious system nowadays tries to anchor itself in the consciousness of a great number of true believers in order to create a network and possibly qualify for a rematch. But there will be no rematch whatsoever, because the new operating system itself is not made to give the power to such systems again, at least not in the nearest couple thousand of years. Thus, if you are interested in this, do approach this subject responsibly. Collect the information, think about it thoroughly, make your decision and act according to your own decision. It would be great if you know what ideology is behind it all. Not just because, or because I don't like it, or because they are mean to me, they don't love me, they don't give me anything, but rather for different reasons.